Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to part two of my Gustavus Adolphus campaign in Pike and Shot campaigns. Now, we're going to go ahead and get started again, guys. Uh, one thing that's kind of a problem is the fact that the enemy certainly outnumbers us and definitely has a better chance of winning this battle. As you can see, this left flank is pretty weak, and we're going to do everything we can to make it stronger. Right now, all we can really do is turn towards the enemy and prepare for their charge. Uh, actually, this might work out all right. I'm going to go ahead and try to hit their veteran horse unit, um, and right now, very indecisive. So that's actually a good thing. Let's go ahead and turn. And of course, we are fighting for the mighty Gustavus Adolphus. Um, I'm actually listening to Sabaton as I play this, uh, so it's giving me a little extra uh, desire to win here. So there we go, uh, once again opening fire. Now one thing that's not going well, our Dragoons are running away from a massive enemy force. What I'm going to do is try to turn towards them, I'm going to open fire, um, and hopefully we can go ahead and make contact with them. I don't mind fighting them in open battle, honestly, uh, but obviously my men think differently. Let's see, let's try to charge into the flank. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Boom! Amazing! The Swedish horse units, just absolutely awesome, and uh, we managed to hit that flank really hard. Uh, let's go ahead. Can we hit this one? No, sadly we can't, but what we can do is keep moving forward. Uh, as you guys can see, the enemy has great cover here, and that's leading me to believe we should have either stayed up here on the hill, but they would have never attacked, or we need to keep moving forward. We can't stop the attack, so I'm going to move forward with my commanded shot. I'm going to focus my fire on their cavalry. That's what I'm really worried about. Not so worried about their pike and shot units, because we can slowly whittle them down. Look at those great shots, 17. And don't forget that the Swedes are exceptional with their muskets, um, so we really need to get them into such a position that they can use them almost all the time. Here we go. Let's open fire on that other pike and shot unit once again. This guy's going to have to stay back for this turn. We'll move this guy up as well. And open fire. And once again, we're just moving our guys up so that they're in firing range for the shooting phase. And hopefully they can beat this huge amount of Imperial troops. We are at a disadvantage in this battle, I'm not going to lie. But we need to do our absolute best uh, to at least try to get a victory. So here we go. Boom. Another heavy shot with those muskets. And I think I'll throw another one his way. Why not? We'll just basically scare the hell out of him. Uh, move up another pike and shot unit. And this one I'll actually open fire on right there. Um, as for this guy, I'm thinking maybe we should move him here uh, and continue basically our line. I don't think it's that bad of an idea. Although we don't want to really overextend our line. At the same time, we need to meet the enemy. So this is pretty good. All right, let's grab these horsemen. Can we attack? Yes, we can, but we will definitely lose. Uh, so I'm a little uh, not sure what to do with these horsemen units. Maybe we should send them over here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea because we'll at least be closer to the enemy uh, cavalry. And as you can see, a lot of reactive shot there from the enemy pike and shot units. They don't want to get into a fight, uh, and I can understand why. Now, we're going to go ahead and charge the enemy light hussars, and they're going to evade us, which is awesome. Uh, this shows us that the enemy is definitely scared of us. They don't want to get into a one-on-one -on -one battle see if we can grab our cavalry here and once again i'm going to try to do a charge this should work and once again this is how we are trying to flank the enemy uh we're flanking them just by attacking from the woods uh, and yeah sure enough that worked pretty well sadly we didn't actually catch up to the enemy we just chased them but we will be giving chase now for the rest of the battle and this is where our horse uh, cavalry is going to explode out of the woods and we're going to show the enemy just what the swedish are good at and that is massive massive cavalry charges uh with Gu with uh, uh, gustavus adolphus at the helm hopefully uh okay so i'm gonna go ahead and actually put this commanded shot here uh, so i can get one more shot off on this enemy unit there we go and that should do it for that turn so let's go ahead and see what the enemy response is going to be again i'm not 100 percent confident about this uh this is a very very close battle and it's definitely in favor actually of the catholics so we just need to do our best uh can we move this guy nope we have yes thank god i remembered the cannons i'm gonna go ahead can we open fire no we can't shoot him we can shoot this guy though zero absolutely no damage to that enemy that's too bad uh we'll try again that's more like it. 10 down. Okay, we're going to go ahead, guys. End the turn, and let's see what the enemy's going to do. Wow, a lot of cannon fire by the enemy. I mean, the Catholics just have so many cannons, as you guys can see. But we also um, are doing very well in terms of shooting. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have enough cannons. Now, there are our Finnish Hakapaleta. I shouldn't even have tried to say that word. I'm sure my Finnish subscribers can tell me how to say that. Uh, indecisive against the enemy units, enemy cavalry units. Now, it is the Catholic turn, and look at that. They're moving forward. That's a little scary. Uh, and they're also getting pretty good shots on our men. Come on. Ooh. So everybody is opening fire at this point, trying to score a hit. It's a 
bloody, bloody battlefield, even at this point, and we have a lot more to go. We've got a ton of battle to fight. In fact, we don't have a single actual retreating brigade yet on either side. So as you can see, the Catholics have a tremendous amount of reinforcements, and I don't know how I'm going to deal with those guys, but we need to do our best. We need to try. Uh, there we go. The enemy unit won, and oh, it's not looking for good for our third horse. Uh, they're being attacked on all sides by the enemy cavalry units, and incredibly, even though we were flanked there by enemy veteran horse, we actually managed to fight them off and kill 17 of them. But look at that. More cavalry coming, and it looks like the enemy is really pushing on their right flank. Um, they've got a tremendous amount of cavalry here, so we've got to do something to respond to this. And I'm thinking we'll turn some of our pike and shot units to fight there. Uh, sadly, we were disrupted over here. I was a little worried that might happen. Uh, but we really don't have many options on that right side either. Don't forget, guys, in this particular campaign, um, if we lose a battle, it doesn't mean we lose the war. What basically happens is however many of the enemy we killed, those guys are damaged um, for the rest of the game, or at least for the rest of the turn. Uh, so we could possibly just damage the enemy army very badly and then reform our other army and come back down here. But I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Uh, I have the strength of Gustavus behind me. Here we go, the residual shooting phase. This is really what's going to either win or lose us the battle. Because if we can make some units flank just by shooting them, uh, things are going to go very well for us. There we go. A lot of Catholics being shot, but they have so many men there, so many numbers. All right, melee phase. And once again, oh yes, that's not looking good for our cavalry. They're definitely fragmenting, breaking off, and hopefully we can go ahead and bring some more cavalry in and do a better job. Um, and as you can see, this guy is totally finished, disrupted. I'm amazed he hasn't broken yet. Incredible. So we will try to help him, but I don't know what else we can do. All right, an indecisive fight. And there we go, guys. It's our turn again. We must do something about the enemy here. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to have to turn this way um, and face the enemy cavalry. There's just no other way. We have to get into a fight with these guys. I'm also going to try to open fire with our commanded shot and also try to charge in here with this cavalry unit. Even though the chances of winning are basically none, um... That actually is probably not the greatest idea, but we've got to do something. I mean, I feel really helpless. Uh, let's go ahead. What about this? All right, I've got an idea. We'll move our guys up, our commanded shot. The commanded shot do surprisingly well against enemy cavalry, cavalry so um, I'm not too frightened about that. Um, ooh. All right, we'll move these guys over here. I don't like it, but you got to do what you got to do. Open fire on these guys. And don't forget, we've got our Dragoons here, so I will open fire on this enemy. I'll go ahead and turn towards him. And uh, actually, no, we will. Well, we could charge, but it's really not a very good chance that we'll win. So we'll just open fire on them for now. Uh, let's take a look at our infantry units. Uh, of course, these guys can shoot that cavalry too. And I want to see if our Swedish Pike and Shot can turn towards the enemy here. And indeed they can. We'll go ahead and open fire. Sadly, we can't charge at them, but perhaps we can next turn. Um, and right here, as you can see, the chance of uh, victory is actually 11%. Um, chance of loss is only 12%. I do want to start a charge here, but I don't think we should follow it through because the enemy has so many reinforcements. So we're just going to stay put with our musketeers, and we're going to open fire. And that was actually an amazing volley, 26. Uh, so we'll slowly move these guys up, all of our pike and shot units, just to make sure we have a nice front going here. Uh, and actually, we should have moved this guy up last turn, but that's okay. And basically, we're just going to hold our position here. Go ahead, open fire. And once again, we're trying to whittle down all these enemy units, especially these guys in the front. I think we could probably take them out pretty quickly. Uh, but again, I'm just guessing, and I'm probably being overly optimistic, to be honest with you. Here we go. All right, all oh, those captains with their damn return fire. All right, now let's remember that this side right here is our salvation. We've got to win on this side. Sadly, the enemy cavalry is just too good for us. We're going to go ahead. We're going to charge the enemy cavalry here um, with our 15th horse. The battle is indecisive. Uh, I'll also try to get another attack on the enemy units over here. Let's see. Uh, we wouldn't do very well against them. What about these guys? No. I'm just going to move my Arquebusiers up to open fire on one of these units. Beautiful. Ten down with Arquebusiers. That's always good. Um, and we'll just keep moving forward with the rest of our cavalry, guys. In fact, I am going to charge these Carassiers, even though I don't even think it's a good idea. But I just want to basically, you know, stop up uh, the enemy cavalry so that they can't really do much damage. All right, we'll go ahead. We're going to turn. Uh, this guy we will also turn. 
and basically we're just making our way towards the enemy cavalry units as quickly as possible i'm gonna go ahead and charge the commanded shot we should be able to wipe them out pretty quickly but again you never really know um and actually if i charge at this guy too uh, the first Dragoons. It's not very good odds for our, in our favor, but we're just going to keep hitting these guys with more and more damage, and that should eventually make them take off running. And once again, another charge. This should just wipe them out totally. And there we go. They're disrupted, so we're slowly disrupting the enemy units on this right flank. That's exactly what we want. Let's bring the rest of our cavalry up and prepare for a major, major fight. I mean, it's already a major fight, but this is going to get a whole lot bloodier. It's that simple. Anyway, guys, I hope you are enjoying this particular series. If you are, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely put some comments down below if you have some ideas on how to attain ultimate victory for our calf. I mean, excuse me, our Protestant armies. Oh, dear. Don't, don't me at the stake please uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway thank you guys take care have a great day